So here's one of those questions that people look and their eyes just go cross-eyed, right? Because they're not even sure where to start. Well, if you're thinking order of operations, simplifying expressions, that type of stuff, this one here, it's got that division bar or the fraction bar. Now the fraction bars are a grouping symbol. So another way of writing this here, eight divided by two times five over two is in parentheses, eight divided by two times five in parentheses and then divided by two. So that's a way of rewriting it that might make it a little bit easier for your brain to figure out because the fraction bar acts like grouping symbols, which is why PEMDAS doesn't always exactly apply that P for parentheses could mean brackets or even the fraction bar. So if you're working from the fraction, you, you can go this direction as well, eight divided by two and then times five. Um, or if you like it down below there where I have it written, eight divided by two times five in parentheses, we can do either way. The steps are gonna be identical. So here we go. We are gonna go left to right. This is all multiply and divide. So when you're thinking like, PEMDAS, right? We start with what's in the parentheses and then the rest is all multiply divide. So you have to go left to right. So the first step you're going to do is eight divided by two. So the, the parentheses stays, this divide by two stays, this times by five stays. The only thing that changes is the eight divided by two changes to a four. Next up, we keep going left to right. So the divide by, we're still working inside that parenthesis. So the divide by two still stays and the parenthesis kind of stays. Okay, so here we go. Now we're just changing the four times five to what it's equal to, in this case, 20. So we write a 20 there. Now this parenthesis that's here is not a grouping symbol parenthesis. It is now a kind of like a multiply divide or it's just a number parenthesis. So this one is actually optional. Okay, so whether you have it in there or you don't, you're still doing a 20 and then divided by two and that equals 10. And there's a correct answer for that using the uh, idea that the fraction bar is a grouping symbol. So you can look at it either way. Anyhow, if you like this, Please uh, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, hit the thumbs down button twice just to make sure.